What is going on guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use a DVD drive from a different laptop and onto yours over the network. Now this would be useful in case where your laptop doesn't have a DVD drive and you did need to install a piece of software from a disc or if you did need to access any disc and you didn't have a DVD drive. This has been tried, tested and works from Windows 7 and up. So the first step is turn the laptop with the DVD drive on and make sure the laptop without the DVD drive and the laptop with the DVD drive are on the same network. If you happen to have getting on the same network for whatever reason then you may want to create your own private network. Now to do that check out my tutorial on how to create a Wi-Fi hotspot. Now on the laptop that has the DVD drive go into my computer my PC or whichever the way to get to your main drives. Right click on the DVD drive then click on properties. Now click on the sharing tab and within the sharing tab click on advanced sharing. Make sure share this folder is checked, then click on permissions and make sure that there is a check mark by read, click OK and apply. Head back over to the laptop without the DVD drive, open up any folder so that you can access network which is located on the side tabs. Click on network, select the laptop that you just shared, in my case I shared WAS HP. Now if no networks are visible then you may need to set your discovery mode to on. And this can be done by heading over to the network and sharing settings. So you would click on the start button, type in network and click on network and sharing. Now within network and sharing, you would simply click on change advanced sharing settings. Scroll down to network discovery and put a dot in the turn on network discovery setting and click on save changes. After this, head back over to the network. Now within the folder, you'll see the drive that you just shared from beforehand. In my case, it's D. So right click on it and click on map network drive. Here you'll have the option to choose a letter for the drive. So give it any letter that's not currently being used or you can leave it as it is and click finish. Now once that's done, the drive will now be mapped onto your computer and you can now use it and you can easily find it in your main PC directory. So double click and enjoy. Now if you didn't want to stop using it entirely or you just need to use it once, make sure to unmap the drive after you're done using it so that you don't get an error message every time you restart your laptop. And this is done by simply Simply right clicking on the drive and clicking on disconnect. Otherwise that is going to be it for this video. If you did find this video helpful then hit that thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.